So what are we doing today, guys? Going on the wilderness trail. Wilderness trail. You guys ready to hike? Yeah. Let's go explore. Woo. Let's do it. You guys lead the way. Let's go. We found a hole. What do you guys think could be living in it? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Like these, maybe a I crab? Think a snake or something. Or a snake. Maybe a mole. Holy moly. <laughs> Let's keep looking. You guys want to keep looking? Are you guys adventurers? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Ooh. thing about being outside with nature? What are you hoping to that see today? That you can see animals. That you can do this. What? Ooh. Ooh. Keep exploring. Ooh. Let's go. Adventure is awesome. And bobcats. Bobcats are native to Florida, right? This part of yeah. Florida. Tell me a little bit about them. So they're um, about like twice the size yeah. twice of what? Twice the size of an ordinary house cat. Wow. Wow. And that rabbit is the most common prey. Okay, so rabbit. they go after rabbits. Teddy Roosevelt made the Pelican Island the first park in the United States and Florida. The first wildlife refuge in America because of who? Teddy Roosevelt. Micah, what is this? This is poison ivy. Poison ivy? What has how many leaves? Three leaves. Do we get near it or we stay away? You know what happens when when um you touch it? What yes. Happens? You itch. You, you itch. itch. What do you think's down here? Maybe like little sand crabs. It's That's possible. It's the island. Do you guys? I don't know if you can even see. All the way down there, there's ducks all over the place. It's a little windy. I see, do you see them? Uh -huh. They're so cool. Guys, did you know that the Grand Canyon Park is bigger than the state of Rhode Island? What? Grand Canyon State Park is bigger than the state of Rhode Island? That well, that's not that big. It's actually the smallest state. For real? Yeah. True facts. Hey guys, hey guys we're, we're gonna check out the butterfly garden. Butterfly garden, show me. Yeah. Okay, what are we looking at? Butterflies. So butterflies are attracted to different types of flowers. Right, it's, and the milkweed, right? But you see a ton of actually there's bees kind of buzzing around. I think it's a little too windy for most of the butterflies. Don't bite, don't sting right? We don't want to get stung. But they they're pollinators, which we so appreciate, right? With all of our plants and flowers, and we need it. So guys, these are the different types of butterflies that are native to this part of Florida. And I'm gonna show you in just a second different plants and flowers that actually attract them that you can set up kind of depending on where you live, your own butterfly garden. So look, white indigo berry. I'm gonna go kind of quick look how pretty those flowers are. Dune sunflower, tropical salvia. Look how pretty those red flowers are. Canada goldenrod, and that's milkweed's a big one that kind of grows super easy peasy all over the place and it's pretty and it attracts butterflies. Look at these guys. It's super important that we're always safe. And when it comes to like walking on trails like this, we're going more where we're marked and where we're supposed to go and we're going with an adult because it is super fun exploring and seeing new things. Hi guys, did you know that the, that the Nali, yeah, Alaska National Park has the, the, the mountain up to 200 feet. It's the biggest mountain in North America. So Lily made a discovery. What did you find, Lily? Red ants. Fire ants. Fire ants, man. They, there's so many things I love about Florida. This, these guys are not one of them. These suckers really can hurt and make you itch and you gotta be careful and they kind of make their homes really anywhere and everywhere. And that is Pelican Island and we're looking for birds. Can I find it for you? <laughs> Got a little tap. Guys, if you liked today's episode, make sure to thumbs up. Hoo-ah and subscribe. Hoo-ah. And adventure is? Out there. And awesome.